Now let's turn our attention closer to home, to a story about saving a crucial piece of our space infrastructure. We're talking about NASA's Neil Girls Swift Observatory. Swift has been a workhorse for nearly two decades, studying the most powerful explosions in the universe, gamma ray bursts. But its gyroscopes are failing, and it's in a slowly decaying orbit. The projections weren't good. It was expected to make an uncontrolled re-entry and crash back to Earth as early as 2026. Right, and losing it would be a huge blow to astronomy. But NASA has a plan. They've selected a private company, Catalyst Space Technologies, to launch a robotic rescue mission. This is where it gets really interesting. The mission will use a Northrop Grumman Pegasus rocket, which is a unique system. It's not launched from the ground. It's air-launched from under the wing of a carrier aircraft. The mission is scheduled for June 2026. And it's set to be a historic first. This will be the first ever capture of an uncrewed U.S. government satellite by a private commercial spacecraft. Catalyst's robotic servicing vehicle will rendezvous with Swift, dock with it, and then use its own thrusters to do the heavy lifting. The goal is to boost Swift back up to its original stable altitude.